Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. In today's topic, it's a very basic topic. I'm going to talk about bad ignition coil. So the first common sign is going to be an engine misfire. So basically when you have an engine misfire, when it's caused by bad ignition coil, that means you're not having adequate spark or power that's going to the spark plug. So when you have an engine misfire, the first thing you're going to notice is the check engine light, light turning on and it's going to start to flash and or blink. So when that happened, basically it's to alert the driver that you are having an engine misfire. So when you're having an engine misfire, usually caused by a bad ignition coil, you're going to notice that one of those one or more of the cylinder are not working because due to lack of, of power or spark, and you're going to notice the engine shaking while driving. It's going to be most noticeable, especially at the stop light and at low speed. Also, when you have an engine misfire and when you use scan tools to check what the problem is, you're going to notice you're going to have a P0300 to P0308. So basically, that's going to be cylinder number one all the way to number eight. And P0309, 10, 11, 12 is going to be cylinder 9, 10, 11, and 12. The quickest way to check for spark or missing power from the ignition coil, all you need is a very basic test light. Sometimes you can even use a screwdriver if you want to. So all you have to do is just take your test light, hook this up to on the uh, ground somewhere on the engine, or you can hook this up straight to battery negative. So with the engine running, you want to remove this bolt on the top, make sure the connector is still connected. All you have to do is just remove it, take the test light, hold it about half an inch to about an inch away. So you want, you want to create some sort of air gap. If the ignition coil is still good, you can see spark flying across. Preferably, the spark should be bright bluish color. And if you know you got an ignition coil that's failing, it's going to show up as faint orange color or sometimes even red or light red color. That's how you know whether you got a good or bad ignition coil or ignition coil that is failing, usually based on the color. Also, if you're getting no spark, there's a good chance that the ignition coil had already failed. If you don't have a test light, you can always take the bad ignition coil and swap with the good ignition coil and swap it around. And you see that cylinder that was bad with the bad ignition coil and suddenly it stopped misfiring on that cylinder, then you know that your ignition coil is bad. If you don't want to do all of that, you can do what I do is call a power balance test. All you have to do is just loosen up this bolt right here and pull up the ignition coil about that much. Don't pull it out all the way, just pull about that much. When you do that, you're supposed to hear a, a power a balance drop. For example, let's just say when you pull it up right here, you're going to hear a ticking noise like tick, 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 tick. That means the spark is pretty much flying all over on the side of the spark plug tube, and you're going to hear the RPM drop. When that happens, you know that ignition coil is good. If you pull this up right here, and you hear no change in RPM, and you don't hear that tick, 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 tick sound, then you know that ignition coil had already fell, and that cylinder is pretty much dead. And lastly, before condemning the ignition coil, I always visually inspect it. What you want to do is move the ignition coil and make sure you don't have engine oil uh, built up on it. If you see engine oil, that means that your spark plug tube sill, that's part of the uh, valve cover, had fell and causing engine oil to uh, leak onto it. Also, you want to make sure that you inspect the outside of the ignition coil, make sure there are no cracks. You want to make sure that it's good condition. You want to make sure the connector is not loose or broken because that's a very common problem. And also, if you really want to tell your ignition coil is good or not, sometimes just put a little bit of water on top. And if you see a crack, if there's a crack somewhere on the ignition coil, you may see it start to spark a little bit or your ignition coil will immediately start to act up. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.